everybody. I'm, uh, I'm back and now I'm going to show my kettlebell chest press alternating the same as the overhead press. The only difference is with a heavy bell or a heavier bell that's heavier than you can lift. So I'm going to lay off to your side, position the bell in a diagonal fashion underneath your palm and then using your body just lift it up with both hands. And then for the other one, if it's light enough, just pick it up. If you can't do that, just do one bell at a time, like six light, six, six heavy on each side, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to lay facing up with my head facing this way so you guys can see it. You guys can see a little bit. So here's the heavier belt. See how my hand is in there at an angle. To move the bells around, just grab a bell like this, just slide it all the way around like that. <laughs> Same with the little one. You always want to let something, some other object carry the weight if you can, if you're not using it. Same thing. Put your hand in there at an angle. Be sure to pull it close to you. You want to park it between the grip, your elbow, and your shoulder, right there, sitting in between. The same with that one. And then just let them slide off to the floor when you're finished. <sighs> ah, that was the chest press. A little hard to see, but the key is not really the press, it's just getting the kettlebell in a diagonal position for the heavier bells and using both your hands to put it, put it in your uh, shoulder slash armpit area and let it rest. And then that's where you let it rest while you do the push out. That makes sense. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, next I'll be showing the same thing, only incline. And my body is just gonna be inclined with a bridge and it's gonna be the same type of press uh, hitting the lower chest.